Greetings pen pals. We have a brand new pen here today. This is the Acevine. Acevine. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. We'll say Acevine vacuum fountain pen model V169. Fairly substantial weight behind this pen. It's a 53 gram vacuum filling pen. Um, here it is compared vacuum wise. It's a pretty sort of conventional size for a typical vac filler. So here it is almost the same size as this uh, a pen BBS 456 uh, vac filler and here it is for completeness sake compared to a Pilot Metropolitan and a Lamy Safari. So a little bit longer than these pens but typical range for a vac filling pens which sometimes do tend to run a little bit uh, longer because of just the vac filling mechanism and you need to have this knob at the end. We'll get into that in a bit. Um, so this, as you can see, is what you would call a skeleton type pen. So it's got this really cool uh, cutouts in in the uh, in the metallic material. So it's it's got a lot of metal, inner plastic or acrylic, I guess, um, uh, uh, barrel of the pen. Um, you know, this comes in a couple of different colorways. This one here is a silver metallic color with a sort of smoke gray interior so i really like the way this one looks but it does come in a couple of different colorways in terms of branding it has the ace veen name uh, on the bottom of the cap um the uh cap um cap uh, does uh, uh un a screw with uh, about one and a half uh turns uh it's a screw to uncap pen it does not post at all so no posting on this uh on this pen the end of the cap and the distal end of the pen complement each other quite well and kind of a nice sort of mirror finish uh, uh metallic look to them um the clip itself is you know a fairly conventional straight clip nothing spectacular here it is nice and springy and uh, uh works uh quite effectively there is an inner liner in the cap. It's a little little tricky to see, but uh, there is a little, little, little inner liner of the cap which does um, uh, catch with the edge of the uh, edge of the section to uh, uh, seal. Uh, speaking of the section, this has the dreaded smooth metal section. So if you do not like such things, you won't like this either. You'll probably find it slippery, etc. It does feel pretty good in the hand to me. It's got sort of a fairly conventional hourglass shape to the section. These threads here are fairly coarse and do not pose uh, any difficulty from a handling perspective. In terms of nib, it's got a fairly conventional shaped nib. It's got some scroll work, the brand uh, name of the pen, and a big giant F4 fine, and um, it has an uninspiring uh, plastic uh, uh, feed. Uh, on this uh, on this uh, nib, which is a number six size uh, six size nib, um, again just to compare it with uh, another nib, number six size. So here it is compared to the Pen BBS four five six uh, number six size nib, and um, you know very very similar. Um, this pen just has a really 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 good look to it. Um, you know this whole sort of skeleton look. Um, th this is not an uncommon design style for fountain pens. Uh, what it is a somewhat uncommon design style for is pens that are not super, super expensive. So this is something I've seen, we've seen before on some pens from some very high-end manufacturers, but this is a fairly moderately priced pen. So uh, pretty, pretty nice, actually. In terms of the filling mechanism on this pen, it is a vac filler, and we're going to be doing the full vac filling in a few minutes, but you unscrew this cap, you pull back the vacuum mechanism, etc., and then you push it in to deploy it, So, and then you screw that back. So that's really all that comes to it for that. The section does unscrew uh, quite easily for cleaning if, uh, if, need, uh, if need be. Um, I am going to put a little silicone grease on these threads in here because uh, personally I just think it uh, it really kind of needs it. I decided what I'm going to do is actually lubricate the whole filling mechanism. So to do that we're going to disassemble it just a tiny bit here. Um, like a lot of vacuum fillers the way you do that is by unscrewing this piece here. Okay so first we're going to put a little bit of silicone grease 
um, on the uh, uh, section where <coughs> this threads are and there's an o-ring right there so we're going to do that and then we're going to just uh, screw that right back into the barrel where it goes and then we're going to put some on the end of the stopper for the back filling mechanism we're going to put some on the uh, rod to make sure that moves in and out quite easily and then i'm going to put some on the um, threads here again where the where the o-rings are just a tiny bit that's all you really really need and then we will uh, insert this in here and screw this back on and we can do it finger tight initially and then again we're going to take our um, our nylon jawed uh, pliers and just um, just um, give them a little tighten them down just a tiny bit that's all that you really need there to get the job done all right i think this is just about ready to fill so we're going to ink this up with smoke noir from monteverde give that a shot and let's see how that goes <laughs> all right i've gone over sort of the proper ways to use these back fillers before but it's always worth reviewing um so a couple of things one you want to pull out the vacuum filling mechanism before you dip it in the ink this isn't a drawer filler You're, you want to fill this up with air first what's going to happen is the air is going to get expelled build up a vacuum pressure here then the vacuum will be released and it will suck the ink into the pen so that's exactly what's going to happen here so we're going to submerge the uh, section in the ink when it gets to the bottom the vacuum pressure will be released and we'll draw up ink into the pen there we go that filled up quite a bit actually all right so there we go um we got oh, oh well, pretty good i'm gonna say it's about a 75 percent fill um that'll do it so i'm just gonna leave it at that and there we go nice nice fill job from that pen but of course as we always said pens were meant to write and we know you want to see how this pen writes so i'm going to show you that right now okay folks as we said what we're writing with here today is an east vine Uh, model V169. This is a vac filler. And this has a number six steel nib in fine. And this is quite smooth and it's quite wet. I would say this is above average. Uh, uh, wetness and it's writing quite well and I'm very very pleased with it the filling mechanism as you could as you saw worked quite well um, just kind of great look to it you know this whole um, cut out skeleton style looks really really good I um, mean like I said there's a couple of different colorways this is available and it does have this smooth section which doesn't bother me but I know for some people that is an absolute deal breaker. I did, like a lot of vac fillers, it doesn't post, and I wish it did. Personally, I think it's a little short on posting, but that's just my uh, feeling. It does have a nice amount of heft to it because um, it is not a, a light pen by any means, but it does write really well. And uh, I'm quite, quite. Uh, quite pleased with uh, with how it goes. So this Ace Fine is, uh, I'm gonna give it a big check. Uh, very, very nice, uh, nicely writing pen. Um, and I'm quite, quite pleased with it. That's about all I have to say about this particular pen. Let's talk about this ink now for a minute, shall we? 
Okay, like we said, this ink is Monteverde. Smoke. Noir. This is a very, very nice gray, kind of a silvery kind of gray. So here's what its uh, card looks like by way of comparison. Here it is next to De Atramentis Silver Gray. Here it is next to Mont Blanc Oyster Gray. It's quite a bit darker than that. Um, not that different than Noodler's Old Manhattan, um, which is really a black, but does tend to look a little bit grayish. Uh, and here it is compared to an actual black of Oshizuku Takasumi, which is just a plain old black. So you can see it's definitely, definitely more of a gray than a black, but a, but a very pretty, pretty color. Nonetheless, Monteverde Smoke Noir. Nothing terribly special. You do get a bit of color variation um, uh, uh, in it. It is pretty nice. That's what it looks like on this Rhodia paper. Let's take a quick, quick look at what it looks like on Tomoe River paper, shall we? All right, here we go. Like we said, this is Monteverde. Smoke. Noir. And there we go. That's what it looks like on Tomoe River paper. Um, again, just a really, really nice uh, gray ink. Got a little bit of character to it, but uh, flows well, writes well. Nice ink. Um, speaking of nice, what would be really nice is if you folks could all please like, comment, share, and subscribe. That would all be really, really appreciated by yours truly. But as always, it's been great to make this. I hope you enjoyed watching this video because I sure enjoyed making it. And until we see each other again next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.